Welcome to my first Ballet Physics tutorial. Ballet Physics is a 3D physics engine. It's like Box 2D of, but in 3D. So it's, I think it's pretty cool. And uh, in this first tutorial I just want to show you how you can install this library, how you can compile your first program with this library, and also a few programs made with Ballet Physics. So let's start with this last one. So let me show you some of the programs I wrote. These are pretty simple programs, mostly for demonstration purposes. The only thing that I don't like this Ballet Physics library is the lack of documentation. It's very hard to find articles and uh, books or anything basically about Ballet Physics. Basically if you want to learn Ballet Physics you have to either go to the website and download the Ballet Physics and look in this demos folder. Like right here I downloaded it and extracted it. Right here this demos folder. It has a lot of cool demos. And if you can run it, these are pretty cool. Uh, they are not over commented, but there are a few comments, so you can learn from this. Or it came with a manual, this is a PDF file, and it's 47 pages long, you can read this through. There are no uh, complex, ex complete examples in this, but it's good for a start. Or you can go to the forums, uh, forum and ask questions, maybe someone knows the answer, maybe whoever wrote this library. Uh, so that is basically if you want to learn, there are no too many articles about that. If you try to find in Google, you will be disappointed. But here is one, so I'm planning to make it a little more detailed than for example Box 2D tutorial, and I hope I can cover topics which are not covered on the internet too much, because I looked into the source and things like that, and maybe I have learned one or th uh, two things. Okay, so yeah, back on the business, let's run this program. It's a pretty simple program, and uh, these are just a lot of cube, and let me find a good perspective come here and if I press letter B actually it will collapse so let me press it and if we are waiting for a bit as you can see this whole building collapsing into little cubes not too interesting just to show you the collision detection and also the physics stuff in this it's a bit laggy right now uh, because I only use uh, one course or one thread and I don't use OpenCV, uh, OpenCL to run it on the CPU uh, GPU so it's a pretty simple and uh, demo just to demonstrate stuff. Okay, I have also a ragdoll model, this is the second. Ragdoll is pretty much, if you don't know, in modern games whenever the player or the enemy dies, they don't actually have those kind of uh, rendered animations like we did in the FPS game, so whenever you were shot, uh, or the zombie was shot more precisely, the, it falls into the same way. They not even use four different kind of, so one uh, fall in the left, fall in the right, fall forward, fall backward, but actually have bo uh, ragdoll physics. So this ragdoll is pretty much made of uh, simple objects like cubes or or cylinders or capsule shades and it's pretty much how the enemy players or the zombie fall down. So if there is a stair it falls down into the stair and so on. So let me just show you as you can see. Oops, you can't see it right now. Now you can see. So this is the simple model I made. As you can see it's just made of cubes. Of course if you have skeletal animation, later I will cover that topic as well if everything goes well. So of course you can set the complex shape around it and these cubes basically just set the orientation of the bones I for the skeletal animation. Later you will see what I am talking about. As you can see I can shoot uh, spheres in it. So it positioned according to the forces. Alright, that's about the ragdoll physics, and of course if it would fall into the sphere it would, uh, it would uh, change its behavior and so on. Okay, so let me just show you another one. This is... I have no idea actually what is this, so let me just run this and we will see. Oh, this is soft body simulation, because Ballet Physics is also capable of soft body simulation. It's a bit laggy, but don't worry about that. It's just because there are the, this object, this object, and also there are a third object right there. This, these are all soft bodies, and I can shoot uh, balls into it, and it's, uh, it's really uh, realistic. And also there is an aerodynamic model, I guess. So if you don't actually, uh, so if I don't actually directly hit this thing, it will also change its behavior because of the aerodynamics. It's pretty cool stuff. And also you can load in from files like uh, this monkey object. Just check if I can load a triangle mesh in uh, in to the into a soft body from a OBJ file. And you can change the, its behavior with that 200 billion variables which you can set. As you can see, for example, this ball has a pressure in it. And also I have set a vertex of this sphere to be static. 
Okay, so again, you can shoot things inside that, and it looks like a balloon or some of some kind. Uh, I think it's pretty cool looking. So it's, it's not too useful actually for the games which we are going to make the soft bodies, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, right. Okay, so let me go b to the last example I'm going to show you because this tutorial will be very uh, long if I'm going to continue showing uh, showing things that slowly. This is probably the car model I made. It's n it's not really a model, of course. It's just made of four cylinders and one cube. But it's just uh, basically I made it to test out the Raycast vehicle stuff. Oops. Okay, so the Raycast vehicle ca class and also this high field. So it's basically just a height map, and I just uh, put this height map into bullet physics. So it's a, it's a bit hard to see, but there are suspe uh, suspension and all kind of different stuff which are uh, usually f uh, in cars. Uh, yeah, and uh, of course you can change its shape, so instead of rendering a cube, you render the complete cassis of a car. But uh, this is just for simplicity. Okay, you can change the motor force and uh, change the suspension, change the position of the wheels. You can basically do everything which you would prefer. It's just pretty much the default. Oops. Okay, so the default settings uh, for this, and as I said, you can change a lot of things the hardness of the suspension, and uh, I don't remember all of them. We will see in the later tutorial. So, about how to install that, of course. So, let me just close these folders and let me go here to the bullet physics and uh, you have to go actually to the bulletphysics.org right here bulletphysics.org if you write you can you get this to this page and right here in the left top corner there is the bullet download here you can click and download uh, whatever you want so for Unix, obviously, or Linux, you want, may want to download this uh, Linux one, and for Windows, you want to download this Windows one. But because it's kind of multi-platform, actually, I don't think that it's matter which one do you download. This Unix one doesn't have the Visual Studio, Visual Studio uh, project files, and this is one way to install Bullet Physics by using those project files. So there are basically two ways to install this library. Probably there are more, but I have installed it in two ways. So first of all, after you have downloaded it, just extract it, and you will get a folder like this. So bullet 2.8 and some uh, number. All right, so right here you can find the manual in it, the, the demos in it, which will be really useful if you want to learn by your own. And you can also find a MSVC folder. These are the Microsoft Visual Studio uh, project files. So you can go into here, and here is an SLN file, a solution file. And of course, you can find all, all the solution file in all of them. And this is one way to install it. So just open up code blocks, and and click file, open, and just get the solution file. It doesn't actually matter which solution file you choose. You can pretty much open anything you want. And for example, let's open the Visual Studio 2008 and open the solution file and just press yes, whatever question it so it wants. Okay, and. Uh, and after you have opened it up, as you can see, it uh, puts uh, dozens of projects into your project browser thingy right here on the left side. And uh, you ha want to choose the first the soft body, so right here just click on the soft body and press build. Uh, I have already built it actually. And then, actually let me just press rebuild. Alright, don't annoy me again. Right. Okay, so it will just install it. The order is important. First, you want to build the soft body, then the dynamics, then the collision, and then the linear map. If you don't build it in this order, it it will fail. So right here, the uh, dynamics. So build, then the collision, uh, collision. So build that as well. You only have to press build. I only press rebuild because uh, I have to rebuild it because I have already built it once. Okay, and finally the linear math. By the way, this uh, Visual Studio project files, as I have already mentioned, are only in the Windows version, so this Windows version right here, the top one. The Unix version don't have this. Uh, in Unix version, you have to you have to install it with CMake, which is pretty similar. Like you have you would have to install uh, uh, Box 2 d So you just go into the project folder. So let me go into there. So CD and. Uh, downloads and bullet physics right here i will create a directory so mk let me just put it here so let me just create a directory so mk dir and build 
build okay let me go into this build and just use cmake dot dot and pretty sure it should work okay and then it will do a lot of stuff and then you can make it so to do make or something to do make and just write the your password in it and it should uh, work so just wait and it will build it okay so back to the other way so the windows way or actually you can do it in linux as well in this way so finally the linear math and build it all right so it's finished now you can go here to the your lib folder after the code block finished and there will be your four li library files right here i only have three because i think i forget to click the project properly uh it should work actually all right now we have the four library files this is the four library files you have to uh, link whenever you compile so you compile li the programs like this so you add the normal head in a normal library file like sdl gl glu and L sdl image and finally you have to give it as bullet source body so first it use this one so the source body then the dynamics collision and linear mass again the order is important also it will have a problem if you don't add this at the end so which is which will search for the include file if you're going to work from uh, code blocks either in windows or linux you will not uh, you will have to use the project and build options and here in the linker just add the sdl gl glu lsdl image so basically all of this add right here and uh, you know what just add this one and you can just add the rest from here so add and just search wherever your bullet physics library so lib and add all of them okay all right so here are the four library files and make sure the order order is correct so first the soft body then the dynamics collision and linear mass and also add the lming w32 of course this is just for windows then lsdl then add the lgl lglu and add the lsdl image of course you can add the these library files as well with this add doesn't really matter and here in the search directory just add for the compiler the source directory in your folder so source okay and uh, and for the linker the add the normal library which you would add for sdl so that is pretty much how you can compile and back to the linux version so in the linux version you compile pretty much with this uh, first of all you have to copy not have to but i suggest you to copy your source folder into here so usr slash include cell bullet you can pretty much copy stuff into your folder where your uh, compiler which search for it which is the slash usr slash include and slash usr slash lib so just copy the sudo cp and copy all of the library files so copy lib slash everything actually this is not even the right folder uh, mm. so let me go to my folder it should be here of course this is it okay so here is the folder and if i just lift it out it uh, made somewhere these uh, so after you use cmake you will find all of your library files right here in the so here in the build and right here in the source and just open up the collision right here the collision open up the dynamics right here the dynamics these are the same library files you ha we have created with code blocks that's why there are two ways uh, of course you have to copy these uh, library files to your lib folder so where your compiler search for it or as you have to give it uh, manually where to search for it but it's easier to just copy it so let me just uh, go back to my lib folder lib and copy if you are using windows these steps are uh, of course doesn't really apply to you because uh, you can just uh, find it in code blocks where all these library files are so just uh, copy to do cp every every dot a in windows you have lib files but dot lib files instead of dot a file it doesn't matter and then just copy it to the slash usr slash lib folder lib and copied all of them and also you want to copy this source folder right here the source folder because the source folder contains the header files as you can see we will use these header files later on so we have to copy that so cd dot dot and i will copy so sudo 
and copy I will copy a folder so I use dash r and I will copy the src slash everything to slash usr slash include and I already have a folder called ballet you have to create this folder usually with the mkdir like make directory and I will just copy everything there and there we go we are finished so now I can go to my folder right here where my program is and uh, as I have already mentioned this is the line to compi uh, compile a ballet physics program so uh, this, this is how we would normally compile an OpenGL project with SDL of course and then first include the, so uh, the first link the soft bodies dynamics collision and linear mass the order is important and it will give a problem if you don't put this last here so it's it, this last uh, command basically tell where are the include files are okay so if I press enter then it should compile okay and then you can run it as you would normally run a program and just press B to see how everything is destroyed because it's so cool to see everything destroyed alright perfect now this was it about the installation and in the next tutorial we are going to make the first bullet physics tutorial uh, so first ballet physics program which is uh, pretty much just the uh, falling spheres and uh, falling boxes and things like that so thank you for watching and have a great